Okay, so now I've built out this contact. Now you'll notice in the contact information pane at the top, three different columns. The first one is your contact information. This is gonna be things like your phone number, your email, your address, important things like that. The second column here, this will be your custom fields, the ones that we just barely set up. And on the far right, you're going to see the workflow information. This is information specific to Job Nimbus, like your sales rep, the workflow type and status, and so forth. Now, if there's anything at all that you want to do to a contact and you're wondering, can I do that to a contact? Go to the far right of that customer information pane, click on the three dots, and you'll get your action menu. Here, we can automatically change status to anything inside that type. We can edit it, add a bunch of things to it, just take a look, it's a big menu. Now, down below, you're gonna get a number of tabs that you use to store information in the customer. You can imagine these sort of like your manila folders or your subfolders in your manila folders, but this is online and a lot easier to use. First is your activity tab. Anything that we do, any notes that we make, will be shown in the activity tab. Up at the top, you'll see a filter that's set to user created to start with. If I set this to all, it's also going to tell me all the information that the system has processed. For instance, it tells me when the contact was created. It can be quite useful. You'll also see a related box. Now, if I've related contacts together, I can have this checked and it will show me the information from multiple contacts at the same time. You'll also see the action buttons for sending an email or adding a note. I'm not gonna send an email to this person because that's not a real email address, but I am going to add a note. The note is, we met with John, he needs and estimate. Uh, I could also at mention someone in my company. If I type in the at symbol, it'll give me a list of people who I could message. If I do that, then they will get a notification either via email or on their phone or both. I'm gonna go ahead and save this note and you'll see it appear right here in the activity tab. The next tab is tasks. This is where we would put individual things that have to happen for a customer. For instance, I might put an appointment as a task. That'll sync into my calendar and I can even use it to give me notifications about what's gonna go on. Documents and photos are similar. This is where I can upload something that I would like to keep in this customer file. I simply browse my computer, choose the category, and then save the attachment. Financials is where you keep your Job Nimbus specific financials, estimates, material orders, invoices, payments, and so forth. Work orders is another tab that we're not gonna talk about right now, but we'll get into later. Now you have a little bit of an idea how to walk through the contact. It's time to get this contact on its journey. We're gonna start with the sales journey in our next video. Now, if you're going to be using Job Nimbus Estimates, click on the video for Job Nimbus Estimates. That's where we'll walk through exactly how to set that up. If you'd rather use your own estimates or a different estimating system and simply upload them to Job Nimbus, choose the other video. And I'll see you on the other side.